Welcome to Gamefront. Today we're playing Dredge. I don't know too much about this other than I'm told it's 2D Bioshock-esque. Is that fair? Job yeah. listing. I don't know. Angler wanted. That steering wheel doesn't look fully attached to the ship. I don't think your steering wheel is fully attached to the ship, man. Oh god, he sank. Man go in the sea, shark in the sea. Man don't come out of sea. I changed the word from water to sea. That was my bad. I I am I like the art style of this game. Yeah, it is entrancing for sure. The morning light fills your eyes. You try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. Oh my god, uh, it's Bernard Manning. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. The mayor. Welcome to Greater Marrow. Should I do it in the voice? Welcome to Greater Mare, I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman is upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Great. That was very well done. Thank uh, you. You, put, you really put James against the wall right there. <laughs> I wish he was here so he could pick up a character. This almost seems like the perfect game for that because there's so many unique individuals that we're going to run into. Well, there's not so many. <laughs> you know, I, I, I already like this. I like the idea of just sailing a little boat along, a little tugboat. It kind of reminds and me of an old PlayStation game, which was more pirate ships. I think it was called Shipwreck or something like that. Okay. I don't um, know that game, but it is very soothing. It has a... Uh, as I brought up Firewatch with you earlier before we were talking, but it, it's, I feel like if you just, you can go at your own pace almost to, to, to uh, discover the story and, you know, and now embellish in, as much as you want. The most important thing is, does it have compatibility with the Sega Bass Fishing Controller? I don't that, know. We're going to have to find that out, huh? Do you have one? You want to hook it up? I, and that would be I, the Danny I, route. You need to start going to, um, uh, like, garage sales. So if you notice, there was a yellow um, marker when it gave you the option to, like, a hit point for the fishing. I think that, you know, gives you a better chance of getting a, uh, like, a rare uh, fish or catch. I could be wrong. In fact, I'm probably wrong. So I'm just going to Google it. Bang I mean, it, I, can, I can believe it, so I'll give it a go. Right now, you do not have the appropriate equipment to fish there. So anytime you see that, like, wood block pretty much kind of show up, or not specific, but that specific one, there is um, dredging for um, crafting material that there's a there's wood planks that you're going to want to get. Ooh, I got blue mackerel. <gasps> Ooh! So yeah, right bumper is gonna make you rotate, and so you nice. can start tucking things in better if you uh, feel I'm like. Basically, it's basically playing fish Tetris. Yeah, exactly. It's got a little level, a little Tetris going on, a little FTL. I feel like a lot of micromanaging. Let's see if we can get one of the first achievements that I enjoyed getting was actually um, maxing out the capacity of the boat. So if we can get a perfect catch perfect amount of fish that'd be awesome so i think we're going to want to get maybe a couple more cod eventually because we'll have to move them one of the mackerels i think let's 
So here, yeah, this is, I, I believe this is COD, right? Nicely done. So right bumper, yeah, see, you got, yeah, exactly, like you're figuring out. But see, you're going to want to <laughs> position it. I would move that one down to the bottom where the engine's at already, because that looks like where you definitely want one of those. You just click on it with A, and it'll let you move it. These fish are halfway to making an unfortunate symbol, frankly. Um, and you're not listening to me, but hey, it's okay. What did you say, sorry? I told you to, re or to organize your fish, but don't worry about it. I haven't organized my fish. It. I've got oh, these. Don't worry about it. They're in a nice See, block, and then you these are in a nice square. You have in your hole. Okay, look, there's... Well, what I can do is, can I move stuff around? No, no, no. Your fishing uh, rods and your engines and certain things are going to... Go ahead, cast, if you want. Um, they well, require can certain... I... Um... Well, if I put him there, then, and then... No, no, I think you're good. Just leave it at that. You're right. Like, wait till it starts to become a thing that you really want to start... Now you're, you know what? You're now I've got me. some space down there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I could see, I could pretty much see how you could max it out. Just need a couple more cads. And maybe a, a, a handful of the, of the macros. Put it where it looks like it's already going to fit, boy. Why are you fucking playing around with it so much? Okay, fine. That one works. Nice. You cast. And you fish real good. Oh, the, the fog's coming in, right? Do I have to get back to the shore? Oh, yeah, you have 20. Yeah, yeah, you could check out this uh, other harbor, but you should go back anyway. No, no, no. Uh, I would just go back to the other harbor. Because your fish actually does have a um, freshness. <laughs> and it's dark, and there's, there's some spooky creatures that are all about. See, if you got one more cod, you'd be perfect, but it's all good. How do it's, I get a cod? Uh, eight I want to... No, no I need to... Home. No, you can't see very well. You should go home. Not to that spot, the other spot behind you. Oh, God, no. That's a long way away. <laughs> I know. You kind of, like, overstayed your... Uh, How have I managed to screw this up so badly? No, you didn't, but... Oh, yeah. You got to be careful, because also when at night, it seems like... You, you know, there's things Mir of mirages. Amidst, you know, is yeah. Like, well, not no. That would actually fuck you up too. Uh, is it, is there so some kind of mirage. celestial thing going on? Is, it, is there some more yeah, more to this than meets yeah, the yeah, eye? Uh, well, you Look, see the eye right above you. You see yeah, Sauron. The eye of Sauron's eye of Sauron. up there, just kind of like yeah. being a bit ominous. So hold down A when you're coming in. Hold down A. Try to dock. And you got this. You step onto the dock at Great Mara, the mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your bait. I mentioned earlier that your bait was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you this replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds, but I'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. So your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off, and a small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. We call it a tax. So to recap, I take the profits from your fish, and you pay me tax. Do you understand? Wow, you're really starting to bridge this, huh? I'm just telling you the, telling the truth. It's like, um... Uh -huh. Well, how about I'll do the narration, and you can do the, the characters, because... You, you, you've made the narrator and the mayor the same voice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, <laughs> I know, I figured you did. You've been pretty good until right then. You enter uh, a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Hmm. You're the new fisherman. we yeah, surprised to found a new and sophist. It takes a certain type of person to stay here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, it's a business. I pay for fish. Bigger fisher means more money. Some species are just worth money. The tens in the air to be paid to different, but you got you got still debt. I suggest you work and pay enough your debts. So let's see what you get. I like his. I like his voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, he definitely is selling the fishmonger uh, <laughs> character. <laughs> it's making me think I? of Alan Partridge. The, what's the best monger? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, war yeah. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, war. Oh, what was it? Warfish. Oh. Um, so if you just hold or... down X, you'll. <laughs> if you hold down X, it'll sell everything. So right now you can see see the hook spots. Yep. So those are places you can put rods. I think just rods specifically right now. You could add another engine, and we can go into your. If you hit right bumper, you'll check your storage. I don't think we picked up it. Yeah. So hit left bumper. I think we're done talking to him. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. That didn't Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? So I guess this is what he you were saying by equipment, right? Collectible um, item to his left. He got it. Press A and put it over there. Anywhere. You're, we're going to. Yeah. Go yeah, well. on. One last thing, Aleko's shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. So, oh. I don't As think you we're walk doing into the, the yard, this. You see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. <laughs> Continue. Ah. ah, you must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payments up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. He shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Oh, sorry, I read that it's scattered. Take a look around, just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Okay, so, so now she's offering us some different rods, and if you hit right bumper, or uh, no, stay on the, stay on her side, um, that's what you, we can engines, purchase. Engines, troll nets, yeah, we don't, lights. But, so we want to get a light, I think, faux sure, um, if we got the money. Do we got the Max money? Don't get a crack. Ball. No, no, get, get a cloudy one. We don't have enough it's for a cloudy lie. lens. Oh, we don't? Oh, shoot. And we don't have anything to sell right now. Okay, well, we're going to go to sleep here any soon anyway, so we won't need it for the next day. But, oh, hold on. Um, go down to the cogs. Yeah, there you go. And now choose out of these two, which... So, uh, really quickly notice, you have one research part. Now, some of these poles have, like, multiple cogs underneath, so they're going to need multiple parts done. We could work towards the hull hydraulic rod. I mean, it's, you're going to be able to get it right away, but it is expensive to buy, so you don't have the cash. Um, we could check, hit right bumper, look at the engines real quick. We could do the engine. Yeah, that might be the best one. It's the cheapest, I think, for us to purchase. But it's up to you, because that was what my preference was. I think we'll go with the engine. Good shout. Okay, so then we can back out and... We're gonna we can go, go to, to sleep. Yeah. And you know what? That might have been actually my bad. Hit Y. Now hit right bumper. Go to the encyclopedia. Okay, cool. We haven't gotten any books yet. So there's this interesting little thing where you'll like get um, books to read. So basically you have to equip them and over a period of time you'll get these benefits from them and you'll or you'll get them from different uh, characters we meet. Um, so we may as well, you can fish a little bit, but we should try to get to the next bay across the way. And now you can see, um, you do have a light. Well, I guess and that's the like light a, that came with the boat, I'm going to see. Yeah, well, it's a very simple, like, it's like a fucking lantern, pretty much, I'm guessing. Um, but you can turn it on and off. Not that we want to turn it off, uh, really, but there's, yeah. So I, I think overfishing is not a good thing, so we should leave once it says the stock is low. Um, or at least that's what my approach has been, Ooh. is not to overfish. Why does this have a... That's just a buoy. Well, oh, why does it have I, a... Uh, inspect a. A floating buoy. Oh, you're the narrator. Oh, a floating buoy. <laughs> it serves <laughs> to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. It's dim light. Oh, damn it! You fucking <laughs> why, why you is the ruined it. Why? You ruined it. Why is you the ruined it? Why is the narrator's voice changed? 
There's multiple parts for the narrator as well. He's trying different roles, different accents. Come on. Chip, chip, hero. Okay, um, like I said, well, uh, let's just go to the dock it, on the other side. We, yeah. I don't, we definitely haven't popped into the map yet. Which I it's think a, is the back button. Yep, no, the back while. button doesn't do anything just yet. Okay, may, I, we might, yeah, right. I might be jumping the shark. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> this is my new narrator voice. <laughs> I guess we would go to the trader. Oh, he is. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other bob baubles? Baubles. Babbles? Baubles. Baubles. Yep. Thank you. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Oh, I'm an old man. <laughs> no. oh. He's going to be like the uh, multiverse of game friend. Like always a character that shows up. No I don't, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes are not what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry, and I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Where's that camera going? Oh, where's that fishing rod going? Oh, 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 oh <laughs> I got a rod for you. <laughs> uh, no, 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 anyway, um... um. We I can't, guess, yeah, we don't we have anything sell to sell. We haven't caught fish. it yet. But if we, we basically, you're going to find spots where you can fish also are like dredging, like I said, opportunities. And you'll sometimes find jewelry and trinkets, like you said, and we'll go back to him. So there's um, not a ton to do on this island yet. We can just say we've done it. Pretty much. You can go fish a little bit real quick. Um, and then we're going to meet back up with the mayor. I think he's going to probably give you a quest unless I hit left on the directional pad. I'm sorry. That's where it is. So, okay. So left, all the direction, the directional pad pretty much brings up your menu items. Oh, Boom, yeah. there's our map. So you can see all the dock points are marked with a black dot. And uh, until we really get quests, uh, there's no reason to start to try to, at least I didn't find the need to venture out too far because you need to f sell your fish before they go, or you get the most money, uh, the fresher they are. And as you can see, time here moves very quickly. So I'd pop it down by the engine or... Sure. Sorry. No, it's all good. You're doing great. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sure, you know, it, it's all good. But uh, let's find another fishing spot. You did deplete that location. <laughs> but like I said, so to the right... Uh, or on your starboard side. <laughs> that would be some dredging opportunity. I believe that's going to be some wood planks to the right. Oh, no, th shoot, there's a bottle. I didn't even see that. Look out, like... Yeah, I was looking at the shiny bottle. It's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, careful, though. We definitely don't want to run into anything. I liked it. It's... Okay, so that... I can't remember which directional pad it is, but it's one of those that you want to look at the message sometimes. I mean, sometimes they have like... I will do that shortly. Don't have the right Ooh, equipment to dredge. So there you go, Ooh, messages. You it. Sorry. Yeah. The morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first per day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Barrier. I love the rocks here, the layers of colours are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. Ho <laughs> ho! He uh -huh. named the boat last night Hule. He did fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, you see. Lest you want to ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw everything away with the old name on it, but I kept a keychain. Ocean Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half ridden and stuffed under the blanket at the front of the cabin. I love when he tries to be romantic and uh, I have to admit... Wow, that woman uh, has a, a very gruff voice, that woman. She's smoked I was, many cigarettes. I was <laughs> well, very... I guess it could be a... Um, very drunk. Yeah, a, a dude is, <laughs> or a guy as well. Yeah. <laughs> could be oh. a gas whale. Out at sea. Mon ami. <laughs> I didn't have that contest when I started uh, the voice, so I mean, you know. Yeah, that almost was that not the mayor's voice again? I don't know. I'm starting to. No, have a hard that time. was that, that was more. Oh, of you a... depleted it. 
That was more the. Okay, uh, we're at uh, six uh, o'clock. Uh, yeah, I'm going back to base. Yeah. No, we got get some eel real quick right here. Oh no, we don't have the right rods. We gotta we gotta sell and we gotta keep selling. Get a new rod. Let's oh, sell the fish. Yeah, yeah, like the, the, fish. The eye of Sauron's getting, uh, yeah. getting frisky again. And as soon as again. we can get like another, yeah, either rod or um, another engine, is that just gonna get it? Go. Oh, we're still paying off the loan. Uh, special guy to come through from the case, if you can fill up eight nine presents. Oh, I'm sorry. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> is, they, he had a stroke? <laughs> they has one good friend and one great. Just bring him in again. You have the red in the shell, red in fish and kitchens, and the ship has to be in the same yeah, we go get them fish now, Paul. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Just hold down X. It sells it all in one go. Didn't he have some special um, quest I could pick up for him? Um... Um, he just gave it to you. It was so you have to catch two okay. different special or two different types of fish so we can hit Y. Uh, or yeah, we can go to her first. If you want. Okay. Well, I don't know if there's anything I need to. Uh, oh, I, need, do something. I need. I need new equipment, right? So I don't know if I should buy. Well, take that. a look at what they're offering or like, you know, what they're capable of. So this catches well, this shallow. One is shallow. It's going to can, the right but it, uh, and your fishing speed. Strength and lines can catch larger and deeper fish. Okay. But now look at the rod that you have already. So if you hit right stick real quick, it'll pop it over. Yeah, there you go. Basic fishing okay, so pole. And that's a coastal one. So yeah, if we can get a shallow one, that's great. So you want to use, uh, what's your thought process? Which one? This one's cheaper. <laughs> I mean. But it does, like, look at the fishing speed compared to the other fishing speed. I don't really know. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, we should buy that, this one. It's more, it's so, worth it. Yeah, so you have to install it there. I mean, no matter what size or si yeah, you're only gonna have one spot to the moment. And so you see that now it's almost 11 o'clock and you definitely need to also worry about sleep, I think at times. I don't think we have enough for an engine or a light. Got no money left really, so we'll, we'll press Y. Oh. oh, it's all good, like if, oh. Oh god, I woke up early. A hunched woman approaches you from the step. Oh, that's your job. A hunched woman approaches you from <laughs> the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. I'm doing the worst voice for this. Right. What? Okay. There's nothing here for Simon like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shovels back along the path that leads to the light. Great. Did you want me to go back to the ship oh, right again? I'll just the press mayor y. wants to talk. The mayor wants to talk to you. Good. The mayor wants to talk to you. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sending out his towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Drugs. Pick up drugs. Place drugs in inventory. You shameless. Assume he'd be a drug dealer. This is you. The mayor, oh sorry, the mayor <laughs> hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Definitely drugs. Oh, oh, dripping wet? I guess Definite. there's some. Uh, the drug dock worker will pay upon delivery. Please be quick about it, because I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and your map if you get lost. Compass. Compass. Okay, yeah, uh, we can look at the cabin. Okay, so we got our pursuits. So let's deliver the pack. So that's what we want to catch, is one flounder and one eel. We can get an eel right outside there pretty easily if you want to go out and grab it right now. That might be good, because it's a nighttime uh, fish, and it's literally right on the outskirt of this. So I would just, yeah. We just don't have a light, so be careful. But it's going to be right to the on your port side when you come out the bay at the cove. Is this really how quick your boat is? Well, you said to be careful, so I'm trying to be careful. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's true. That's smart. I'm just worried because... Dang, it's slow. Uh, All right, cool. Get that and go back. Well, you only want the one. Okay. Well, that's all you need. And Oh, I mean, I guess it's about to be daytime, so you could start fishing. But it is fresh, and you could just turn it in for the quest and then, you know, continue your day. Yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. 
Although, I mean, look at how long it takes just to sail back to the dock. I've lost an hour of time. I know, that is pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> this boat is a shrew. It's, uh, what is it, seven knots? I can't remember what that engine was. Do I just sell it to the fish fishmonger? Yeah? He's gonna, you press yes, yeah, or yeah, choose yes, press yes. And then you're gonna just drag it over there or put it into that spot. Perfect, so now we just need and a golf it, flounder. Yeah, go back to your, hit right bumper, hit cabin. Sorry. Oh, it's all good. No, it's a, you could get out of the, um, this. Oh, we're skipping the chat. Right, time we're is of the essence, on. so. Oh, well, press Y. You want to look in your. Right bumper. Encyclopedia. Oh, that's just because you caught the fish or the eel. Um, so if we hit up on the directional pad, is that the map? Ooh. See where it's going, marked. That, you're going straight yeah, across to the pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, so I guess we did jump the gun to get over there. We didn't really need to do that. And then we're looking for a flounder, I believe, was the other fish. Yes. And now that we got a, yeah, that new pole. <laughs> they called me. Nope, that wasn't going to be a good impression. I'll stop there then before it goes well, too far. What, what was the impression you were trying to do? I'm going to try to do the Crypt Keeper from Tales of the Crypt. Yeah, well, delivery? Let's see here. No, this is not. What's the, he's got more of a... What would it... He'd be more of a Yorkshire man. Hey, oh, you got to deliver it. Let's see what you got here then. It yeah, is. He adds words in. Oh, that's you. <clears throat> he tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. Yeah, these are nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm paying you, I suppose. He hands you some money. Hmm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me, so I'm sure you'll get me more use out of it than I did. He stumbles over his words, <laughs> pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep this in your cabin, lads, and perhaps you can read it while you're on water. Stop by for a chat any time, because I know how lonely it can be out on ocean waves. Right, away. 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 Away, lad. Get away, laddie. Get off me dock. Where would You're we find... You're already me dock, Tuhon. Let's just <laughs> keep fishing a little bit. Um, Where would we find a flounder? Bays, now that we've... I think this is a flounder. Oh, that's it. I yeah, there we go. I've... Yeah. Look at you, dummy. You did it. You got us a flounder, mate. Yeah, and after we fill up... Uh, yeah, if you maybe now try to go around. I don't know dredgings. I forget when it lets you do it, but try the wood to the right here. It's right around the, yeah, right there. You can see, like, all those spots are pretty much either fish locations or uh, crafting stuff. Okay, still can't do it. Okay, you don't have the right. Huh. It's gonna, it's gonna open up to us then, obviously. I'm jumping the gun. I'm still jumping the gun. I guess you've put a lot of hours into dredge. <laughs> Yeah, I should re I should start another game on my Switch or something. We should just fish while, I need while to we've take got the day more one, right? shits. Yeah, 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 go for it. It's just like you got to really want to take advantage of like your whole space or your, you know, cargo. Because these are like, you know, oh, and yeah, I would stop fishing here because it's low anyway. But yeah, see, it's, it's a Tetris, like you said. <laughs> Maybe go to the left. Yeah, just straight ahead to the port side. Yeah, right there. See if there's any. I think that's mackerel or cod. No, that's mantas. Oh, no, it's flounders again. Ooh, we, we got room win. for one. We got room for one. And it's medium, so it's not the end of the world. Nice. Oh, now we'll head in. Is it six o'clock, mate? That might be mackerels right ahead of you. You can see if there's any. Oh, squid. You got room for one of them. You got room for two, actually. All right. I think you're good. Are you? Yeah. Thou shall have a fishy on a little dishy. Thou shall have a fishy when the boat comes in. 
right of the calamari. All right, sweet. And we're going to finish this quest, which pretty we should be pretty much paying off the boat right now, I think, too. So drag over a flounder. Yeah. Yeah, 51 bucks. Yeah, you're done. You can pay him off right now, I think. I don't know if it lets you jump that gun either, but that's how I do my finances. Oh, yeah, sorry. this should be reading. pleased it is. I got another idea. This one's a little more curious. They want to keep this good and help me grip it. Don't see many people fishing skid these days. They're only fitting it. And well, you know, it needs to take that good dick. You got any fish in there? We don't have any of those right now. Oh, uh, which ones? Did we? I thought we did. Oh, we did. We have oh, some squids. Yeah, yeah, we got. <gasps> we, he gave us another uh, one. So we're just we going to. What's the one that he also asked black for? Reaper. Black, black Reaper. Black Reaper. Okay. <laughs> the rest we can just kind of sell to him. And then we'll be able to pay off the mayor. So hold down X. I'll hold it down. There you go. Donny! No, no. Now I've pressed Y. So basically, time is frozen when you're at dock, which is nice. Okay, so yeah, we want to read that. And then, yeah, we're going to get a little bit of a perk from that one. Do we want to talk to the mayor? Talk? Yeah, see if let, he lets us pay off the rest. Oh, uh, can I do for you? I'd like to pay some of my debt. Oh, of course, how much would like to repay all my debt? All of it. Yeah, yeah that's deep. I don't know why it said, it said 25 <laughs> bucks as an option. It's like, what? <laughs> no, I only own $3. Yeah, not investing. <laughs> what else can I do for you? What happened to the last fisherman? Mmm, that's fisherman. Hey, he's very unreliable. He'd go at night and come back with no fish and proceed to sleep all day. He's also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef and even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he's no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long. He shan't be missed by us. Now, what else can I do for you? Not a lot. I'll press Y. Oh, that's true. We can look at what she's oh, got for sale Jesus. now. All right, how much money do we have? <laughs> Oh, the mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors in day now. In fact, I've granted consent for the ship right to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work, and we're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Dry dock, yeah. eh? This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachments, points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects, like lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. This is how we're going to find out how we dredge the wood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Okay. Yeah, it kind of ends up working out just like how the we're turning in the fish for the quest. You, we can just, go under uh, these different the first tier, and you can like a lot stuff too. Like if you press A on that one, you'll see that you, we got to get two things of cloth and some wood planks. So once we get that, we, we you know we can unload our cargo into that, and it's not taking up space because you only have so much star, uh, storage and so much cargo space. Okay, so we just need that one grouper. And yeah, so we can go to sleep and I don't know, how you feeling? Let's go find a grouper. All right, <laughs> that sounded kind of weird. Well, no, that um, would be... Real quickly, we'll go to the ship, right? No, 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 uh, let's just see if we, um, we should have maybe done this before. You have enough money to buy, I think, another engine. Not the rusty one, you want to go the right... Oh, dang, we're so close, and there's nothing in our storage to sell. Down. Gosh, down. Let's earn some money, and then we'll uh, we'll buy, buy a new outboard motor for our little tugboat. Yeah, you probably just need to catch two fish right out of here, and you'd be good, but... We can, uh, now that you learned how to dredge, if you want to check out the dredge spots... Well, I don't know if we learned how to dredge yet. I didn't get I any so. new equipment for it, though, did I? I don't think you really needed new equipment, uh... Pretty sure it was just focusing on like, yeah, 
introducing you to certain things and you depleted it again. So it's, yeah, over to the left. Let's head that way. We'll fish there. And then there's the dredge spot right off that side of that um, little island. Oh, Jesus, there's freaking nothing there. This is going to be more mackerel, I think, or maybe it's... Yeah, let's get it over with. Pull that band-aid off. See if we can do it. No, you're right. Why am I feeling like I don't know what I had to get in stuff in my boat? Mate. What, what is it we needed to find? We needed to find a um a black grouper. And grouper. so this is these are sh these are sharks. Am um, I just in... go around the No, you're good. But just go around the island a little bit. Um, you know, just keep don't go out too far because you're not going to be able to uh, fish those spots, I think, really. Or maybe you will. So maybe that's not oceanic. These might be coastal. Yeah, it's just cod, though. It's just cod. She had... Yeah, maybe that's... Well, it's all working. It's low, and you depleted it. Mother Earth appreciates you, Danny King. <laughs> Listen, I've got money to make. Hey, also, you remember how slow your boat is to get back? So, Let me just do this one spawn. I'm going. Uh-huh. It's three o'clock. Mackerel. Oh, he's gonna... Fish your drown! <laughs> Not my America depleted. How's a man supposed to make any money in this game if I can't fish for fish? I don't know, I man. That's a good point. You, you know what? I'll be honest. I think I've set off I a bit too late to get back. Nah, you're gonna be fine. Just, you know, avoid the rocks. You're actually like, this is kind of the perfect time to kind of come back in. Like, I don't think too many mirages show up. But be, still be careful, because you don't have a light at all, do you? Your light's not on. Yeah, don't hug the coast as close as you think. That's usually where they're going to pop something up, so you have a hard time avoiding it. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen anything pop up except for the one time yet. <laughs> I like how you started that. I haven't seen anything pop up except for the one time. No, but I mean, like, as a new... If, if, there, if, <laughs> there will be a second time, Danny. Oh, don't you worry about it. Okay, go to ship. Ship. No, 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 no. It takes time to install things. So, like I said, you want to install. Like, if we want to buy oh, another yeah. engine. We wanted to buy an engine, didn't we? I think that's a good idea. Maybe we'll double check on what am I, what am I overlooking that she might have that lets us dredge. Go over to the. Yeah, we don't have enough for that. Okay, yeah. See, none of the poles. Maybe we'll. I don't think the pole will make a difference. Yeah, no. We're good net for now. Now you can. You sold all your fish. You go to sleep. It's not something in the dry dock, is it? Like. Um, I don't think so. No, they just add new spaces to my inventory, like you said. Yeah. Um, you know what? Maybe it's when the book finishes. I might be. Yeah. Barely remembering things correctly. When you finish uh, researching, that might be the. Careful, Jesus! Get away from the coast. Coast to coast. Oh, get it, get it, get it! Yeah! <laughs> Even though we overfished, we got a grotesque mackerel. Now get it! Yeah, I heard it. We go. <laughs> There's a trophy catch too, because it's your first one that's that big. Get a couple gull flounders here. Remember, we want to find a black grouper somewhere, so I think it's time to start either venturing out. Should we go out this or, way? Oh, yeah, I see there's another bottle, so we could try that out. Check that spot out. But just wrap around this immediate area, like go around the islands. No, you're not. Yeah. Remember the, if the, that item or thing shows up. Oh, I wonder if it's right there. I think that it might be it, but it's like off the other dock. But yeah, let's give that a shot. Look like ahi. Oh, more cod. You may as well catch it. Oh, nah, another. man. I don't want to overfish that area. 
Um, it was high. Do you not read the marking? I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a whale to your right, I think. Come on, let's be quick about this. Time is money. Another ugly fish. Ass. Grotesque. Excuse me. Okay, it says grotesque. Careful. Careful. Oh, we can't get it yet. Gosh darn it. Oh, Jesus, cromedy. Okay. What are you doing? I'm just conscious of time. I don't want to go too far. No, right. No, that's what I'm saying. Stay around those islands. Like, just the immediate ones that you're around. Okay, yeah, you can check out this uh, one. There's a dock up here to the left. Remember, you can hit up on the directional pad. Is this the... Is oh, this the... the... You just finished the book, so you got... An award for that or perk but well, we want to get back and get the fish in so you're gonna you're gonna want no should have just kept fishing oh gosh but i want to find the specific fish that we need it's not well wrong. you can kind of tell by like the you know the way it looks and careful likes i'm an expert boat man it is so, five o'clock i'm going back so you're... <clears throat> See, I think it might be to the left there that we're going to want to check the port side um, that you passed already, but it's nighttime. So it's the, the type of fish that are out change at times. So if you hit once you get to the dock, We'll sell your fish and go into your cabin real quick and re uh, we're gonna research a little bit. Raising today, you hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. Um, I'll see. That's you hand <laughs> the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. <sighs> He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. Pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a del delicately patterned handkerchief. Ooh. I've never seen that before, my my days. I'll tell you the thing, I pay for the fish tickets. It's not the first crypt fish I've seen these pants, and I'm sure you'll find better fits in, eh? I bet you will if you find me. Me, me. Should we sell him the Ankachi? No, no, we can't. So oh. that that place you were really close to that I was saying that had a dock, that is a guy who wants to check this out. So we're gonna learn this is a quest that we're gonna kinda be given here in a second. So just yeah, you could leave it there or put it in your storage. A man oh, is looking at you through, through. Oh, you son of a gun! A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger, and I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out to this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition for you that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Okay, fishmonger. <laughs> We've sold everything. Okay, yeah, check this stuff out. So, map. Okay, so. Might as well meet the dude, and then. Yeah. Well, and then we can get that fish. We, we're going to go to sleep, and I think the grouper is going to be right to the right, actually heading towards him, or starboard side, heading south, or whatever. His, I can't remember his directions, but we'll see on the map here in a second. Um, yeah, encyclopedia, that's about the fish. So yeah, so he's right there. And so when we come out of the bay, heading south, that first spot should be, um, I, I think it's a grouper spot. But it's right out of the bay to starboard side, like, you'll see it. Did it wake you up at this time, or did you wake up a little early? I wake up early because I need to maximize the time of going the day. Well, see, that's the thing. The fish change at different times, but you might be perfect. Starboard. No, it's right there to the right. 
Yeah, see, I think, you know what? This is actually, no, this is the flounders. Never mind. I think it's maybe right outside. No, just keep going to the, that side. No, starboard. Oh, God. Well, I didn't want to ground myself on the rocks. Well, just don't hit. Like, that's not, you're going to get grounded. No, it's the starboard side more. That's the dredging. That might be mackerel, actually. I swore it looked different. Yeah, that's mackerel. All right, port side. That's where we're headed. That guy's pier. But you may as well, yeah, check that out. But that looks like mackerel as well. It's mackerel, my lord. It's mackerel. <laughs> the man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came, good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things, arts and artifacts, treasures and truths, but curious that occupy the periphery of desire. And curios, I think that's... But yeah. Uh, Chiros occupy the... Uh, Chiros! <laughs> you have something for me? You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. Hmm. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, the handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance, and as you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that lets you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. There you go. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not get up, give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Do it. Do it. The relics we're looking for a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns and shipwrecks for any strange occurrences, anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Check out the workshop. The workshop looks... Oh, it's locked. <laughs> Forget the workshop. No, wait, wait. It's locked. Um, no, no, oh, no, no, go back. Uh, it, it, wait, really? It was locked? It didn't let you in? Oh, I guess we got to find more stuff before it unlocks. See, I'm like, uh, I'm misremembering how these things work. Yeah, he mm. must give us the key later. Later, because we already showed him the handkerchief. You may as well either just head back to the other I spot. I rested at the ro fish. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gee, Danny, come on. This is what I've been telling you to worry about. Nope, port side. You want to head port side. And he now we can dredge. So now we can, like, check those, like, what's right ahead of you. That spot and all these other locales. Uh, and so you press X to change the level. Ah, you'll get it. Took me a second, too. Oh. You get it, buddy? Time oh, of day is going by quick. You gotta press X when it so you don't hit the black bar. Oh right, I thought you had to hit the black bar. I understand. Oh my god, you, Okay, get take that and go. Take it and go. <laughs> Put it in anywhere and just get the fuck going. Oh Jesus, why did oh no! Why did time pass so fast? <laughs> it seems like I don't know, I was Kind of trying to look that up. That's gonna cost you a little bit of money, probably thirty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> You'll learn. <laughs> At least you didn't lose anything by damaging the halt. Okay, cool. We want to read the book that he was just talking about. Yep. Oh, sweet. Let's just. Well, we could call it here too if you want. I, mean, I can tell. I can see that the speed that you're going at, Danny Tyward. <laughs> Danny ready for real sleep in real life. Great Omero. Well, this we has been dredge. Yeah, oh, wait, do you want to fix the boat play? before we forget? Okay. No, go to shipwright. Let's fix the shipwright. boat. We'll never sail in again. Uh. Hold down Y. Right trigger, right? Oh, oh shit. Hang on. No, Nailed not it. you. <laughs> Hold down Y. See how it says repair all? Believe me, matey, I've banged up a ship or two in my time. 
TikTok, Mr. Wick. You approach a woman sitting on the dock side, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think we need to get away for a while, maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. He's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything, and I'll pay you when the job's done. Sounds like theft to me. All right, is that? Wait, no. She eyes you suspiciously. Oh, that's you. That she eyes you suspiciously. <laughs> There's a spot near the back of Great Mary where the carrier and the window is going to see. Sometimes you can see it, and then you go and from the picture that I made. I can't imagine what's in the lip. So if you're looking for anything, you're looking for this man. Ma'am, are you okay? <laughs> I have you a strike. <laughs> I, don't I think know. someone needs sleep. Alright, we're right. calling it there. Dredge, baby! I like Dredge, it's a very chill game. I think I can see myself playing this Falling to unwind. Asleep while you play it. I, 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 think, I think picking this up on Switch, this, uh, this is a very good Switch game, I would say. It's a good um, passing a time good on a train every... game. Um, yeah, well. That kind of thing. But um, but yeah, it's good. I like it. I think I'll, I think I'll carry on. And on that note... <laughs> it's time to end the video, I guess. Well done, man. That's what the, everyone wanted to see. <laughs>